right, welcome back everybody. We are on part eight from Daymare 1994 the Sandcastle. My place real quick has turned into a complete play. <laughs> but that's okay because I'm here to stay. Here's the scoop. We're gonna go help the soldier. He said he's in the residential area. He's pinned down. So he also said that there's survivors there. <laughs> Her expression never changed. I love this game. <laughs> just all his quirks. It's just... <laughs> Anyways, so... We just got back to the central hub. And now... We're just on our way to, to try to meet up in the residential area. Now, we um we turned off the security measures so that he can have access. The He's inside. Here. The one that Gora took. So yeah, there should be a train here that I can take to get there. But the thing is, the thing that I don't understand, see, there's nothing here because he took the train. So, okay, so maybe this will just summon the train and it'll come here. Okay, so I have a question. Is this a second train or is this the original train that he took to get there? And how did it get here so fast? Unless this is weird, unless the residential area isn't that far away. I don't know. This isn't a good sign. Already seeing creatures popping up, and I haven't even gotten off the train yet. Oh, goodness gracious. Reyes, what have you gotten yourself into? Okay, well, that's not the point. We gotta go help this guy out. Hopefully, there are survivors. We got some trains here, so if there are people, we can always transport them. So, let's see what's going on. Wow, this place is huge, just in the, oh, looky here. We have another one of these puzzles. Can I complete it? Do I get another chance? It says the difficulty is hard. 45 seconds. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna try my best and see if I can do this. I think the best way to do this is maybe to try to get all of the, the the virus nodes out of the way of one row in particular going down so that you can always access but see how do you even do that when you have to go down it's just i don't know this is i can see why it says hard Okay, I screwed it up once. One more chance. One for HB8. Okay, so looks like I have HB already, but I gotta. Maybe if I can. Oh no, I can't go backwards. I got one HB4. I need another H. But it also has to line up. This. Oh man, this is so confusing. I think these type puzzles are the. Time, I would need multiple tries on because I don't I don't think I can just like if it works like how the last one did where it just shuts off permanently if I'm just doing like a playthrough and okay who cool, cool I got one up oh, so I had aha uh -huh. 
If I'm doing a full playthrough of this, I would I, I would have no choice but to have to do multiple tries and keep having to load my game up and just keep trying over and over until I get it. But I don't want to do that just for the sake of the length of the video and the tedious going back and forth. I'm not for that, to be honest with you. I already have to do that just when I, when I lose from fighting the enemies and I got to go back anyway, but... Okay, this one is close, but I'm running out of time. Yes, uh, uh, these are real. These are like really rough. I, there's no way around it. Oh goodness gracious! Okay, so this is the expected outcome. I didn't get it. I screwed it up, and now it's permanently locked. So. I'm just getting to the point where I'll just attempt it and just move on. I, I just can't. Unless I do a separate video where I just go back and solve all of them. Ugh. I don't know. If anybody in the comments has played this and have actually solved these puzzles, please let me know. At least let me know what's inside of those boxes because I am curious. But at the same time, if it's not stopping me from completing the game, I'm just going to move on. <laughs> move on. Crazy. There really is a city down here. The doctor wasn't kidding. Gora, are you receiving me? There's a huge fire here. Yeah, we're trapped. We're barricading ourselves in a basement, but I don't know how long we can hold on. They're coming at us from all angles. Hold on, I'm on my way. This is insane. This underground residential area, it looks like we're on the surface. Not just a, not just because here it's like brick and stuff but it's just like look at the roads look at look at the there's dumpsters and stuff this just this is insane that this is all underground and just so filthy <laughs> oh looks like there's something here Maybe something that I can scan. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Everything's just so detailed. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, it's kind of a crutch because it's like you really got to really dig down and see what you can get. And it doesn't look like I'm picking up anything here. Ah, here we go. I knew that was what it was. Well, this is certainly a recipe for <laughs> nightmare fuel. Is adding <laughs> this type of stuff to what they're already going through, and you wonder what's like this place turned upside down. That's great. Teleporting monsters and, and medication inside of this dystopian-looking underground city. Oh, goodness gracious! Excuse me, one moment as I take out the trash. I swear, those blue bellies are the most annoying of the enemies. Yeah, I definitely think that this has Raccoon City vibes to it. 
but just the graphics and just the way that it's designed this is amazing Okay, so we're in, and it seems like either an apartment building or a hotel complex or something, the residential area, and I'm guessing this is where the workers are housed, and it looks like everything got corrupted here as well. Shouldn't be surprised. Is that a collapse? Okay, so let's see if I can get in here. With... Nope. Wait, is that what I think it is? Are we in Resident Evil? Is this like the, the mansion? <laughs> nah, but this is crazy. I guess imitation is a serious form of flattery, but it's not like doors don't have special emblems or special keys. I mean, I'm not knocking this game. I think this game is awesome. So just seeing something like that, <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting. Okay, come on. Now you gotta be you gotta you gotta be convinced now. <laughs> it's a heart. A diamond shape, a heart shape. What's next? The club and the spade? Come on, like and we're only on the third floor. Oh goodness gracious. Oof. But you know what? I'm not even too phased about those small sounds now after I heard that giant monster screaming in another video. It's not the medical area, so this stuff shouldn't even phase her. Okay, so this is actually surprisingly clean in here. Just the, the regular <laughs> maintenance closet. No. Yeah, why is this so clean as compared to everything else? Okay, so this must be my access to get to the second floor. Since that hallway, like that, that corridor was like destroyed. So now, okay, I guess I'm down here now. So, okay. Oh, goodness, who went through there? Nemesis? Mr. X? <laughs> anyway doors barricaded this is a lot to unpack in here but okay so this is this is someone's apartment I'm sorry it's, oh lord with these sounds these sounds I'm sorry just looking at this one apartment I don't know man this looks just so depressing maybe it's just the lighting and I'm just being too harsh on it I don't know guys around the corner to jump out come on fellas <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what did i say spade <laughs> i'm expecting to see the club soon but that's okay okay looks like i can go down here this is good Yeah, but before I go down, you know, you always got to check everywhere. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anything or there's no doors that I can't access. Like, I literally have no way to access any of these doors right now. So, man, it's just nothing but just carnage around here. Goodness gracious. Everything is just... It, I'm not going to lie. This place looks like it would be depressing before I even look the club. 
before I even like before it got destroyed it just doesn't look like a really nice place to just hang out at so this man imagine living here I couldn't I, I don't know I do not know but let's see what I can do or if I can find some type of access or something also I, I wanted to introduce something to my videos in in the interest of video length and the flow of the video I wanted to introduce something I would like to call Sixes blooper box which would literally be a video of me boop right there where I basically don't complete the part that I'm trying to do before a time with like ahead of time or if I make a mistake or if I go down the wrong route or anything like that or you know just basically something to show you that I was actually attempting to do the playthrough and ran into some snags but also to sh to show you without having to interrupt the actual gameplay so wow is that a fireplace this is this actually i guess this isn't so bad maybe if it had better lighting it would be better but anyway on this particular blooper box <laughs> i actually went down the wrong path down here first before i saved so yeah that's what happens also don't forget to save So yeah, that was my basic adventure into the wrong area before the time was correct. <laughs> Even though I probably could have gotten past that ahead of time, nah, I didn't really explore anywhere else yet. Okay, so that looks like a key. Oh, for all those special Resident Evil style doors. Okay, so cool. I'll just get to work on that when I get up there, I guess. Okay, so what's this say? This. <laughs> this is funny. Who would write a whole rant like this <laughs> on the front of the bulletin board inside of a build? That this doesn't make any sense. Come on, guy. Maybe there's a hint inside of the office. I do want to get that upgrade station, but I wonder any numbers, any packages that might have a code on it or something on the door on the side. I'm tough. If I can't find it here, then more than likely I'll just have to find it within the building somewhere. Maybe from an employee or a room or something like that. Oh, also that, that note that I just picked up when I was at that the desk. That was basically the, I guess the maintenance guy being cursed out by management <laughs> about going into the apartments. So apparently there's a deluxe suite upstairs. It's the, I think it's the blue diamond. It's, it's a deluxe suite, so I probably would need a special key for that. Let me reach, you know what, let me recheck these codes. The, yeah, okay, so it was 7924. That's the one that he said he changed, but what if in some weird way he still kept that code there just to keep whoever it was they didn't want bothering the inside packages or whatever out? Let's check it just to be sure. Seven, nine, two, four. You really did change it, that. asshole. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't that tough to think. Okay. So let's get on our adventure mode. Hopefully I can find some clues, maybe inside one of the rooms. 
You'll see a lot of these rooms, they're just boarded up. Like they're just, it, man, I can't say enough how depressing this place looks, but we're going to figure this out. Okay, so, okay, so it looks like there's three separate keys. It's kind of weird how that system works. Like why not just have, I don't know. If it was up to me, I would just break the, the machine and just take all three of the keys out and not care. But whatever. Anyway, so these people were doing research in here and just living in here. It looks so bleak and so drab. Maybe it's the, the, the light. Maybe they should have just changed their light bulbs. I don't know. Even just the way that it's laid out, like I don't I don't know, man. Still got quite a few rooms to check, so this is the, the fun part. We're just figuring this out. Let's figure this out. This, okay, so we switch it, boom. Okay, and then have to do it again. <sighs> this is so contrived, it's crazy. Yes, an upgrade, but it's white. <laughs> I'm gonna make that shotgun look so ugly. But I do not care because you can't see the shotgun when you're using it, especially not the <laughs> especially not the pump handle. So nobody's gonna care about that. I'm not trying to be all flashy. I'm just trying to survive. But it's kinda hard to ignore that white piece, but whatever. I don't even care. Why is that even in this apartment? That's another thing. Somebody just had gun parts just sitting around. It's... Like I said, that whole setup is just awesome. Haha, <laughs> dropped them like a bad habit. Let's keep it moving. Oh, had a surprise way for me. Well, introduce you to my freezer pattern. Another thing that I definitely want to say about this game is that the sound design is top notch. Even just like the freezer effects and the the weapons and stuff, man, it is so 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 satisfying. Especially after these things just keep coming after you. It's so nice to just catch one and just freeze one and just boom. It must have gotten really bad if like 90% of these rooms are all boarded up. Like, I couldn't even imagine what that was like. Yeah, I'm not feeling these apartments. It's just so... Man... I feel bad for these people. Look at the furniture. Nah, that's, I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. Looks like there's a key there, but I want to make sure. Okay. Looks like there's a file. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Jesus, Trigger. You scared the life out of me. Didn't you hear that roar? And the siren? We have to get out of here. It's finally happening. You're not going any fucking where. 
Get back to work right now. Trigger, come on, use your head. Something must have happened. Nobody's answering. I said, get the fuck back to work. Maybe it slipped your mind, but the only thing waiting for you out there is the electric chair. If that's what you want, just say the word. I saved your life, you fucking ingrate! Now get back to the job and shut the fuck up! What the It's such a shame. They both could have gotten out of there. This dude wasn't just the worst. Oh, sweet. We got the sweet key. I'm telling you, man, look at the running. It's just the. Oh, goodness gracious. Can we please get into here? Looks like this is the sweet, sweet. Bingo. Maybe we'll find some answers in here. Wait, this is the deluxe? This is the deluxe suite? Nah, no, nah, man. This is like. Are you serious? This, this, nah, it's, it's gotta be something to this that I'm like completely missing. If somebody in the comments could tell me what it is, I don't, I, I'm not getting this. I'm just not getting this. Oh, cool. We're making some progress. So, okay. So we do have the code for the door downstairs. It's on the second floor in a window. Odd numbers. So we just got to... Yeah. Oh, come on. Seriously. I really like this place on opposite day. I, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. Let's find this code. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I checked everywhere and finally got here. <laughs> it took like five minutes, but I just wanted to be thorough. So, okay, so let's figure this out. Remember that code. Remind me, 9517. What was it? 9975? Nine, what? Okay. I'm just glad I put it on the screen because I actually, when I did it the first time, I completely forgot I had to go all the way back up. Okay, we are in. And there is nothing. This is great. <laughs> Only thing in here is the upgrade station no items or anything like that but whatever i'm not able to complain let's see what we got we got frost bunch bomb hmm, i don't think so frost bomb cereal <laughs> i want something more something practical
This one looks like the most sense, so I guess I'll just try this one. The shield too, but I, don't, I only get attacked from a distance by the blue belly, so it's not too bad. And health honestly isn't too much of an issue. So yeah, I guess I'll just settle for that one and see how it works. This whole teleport monster thing is so unique. The, the, even though you just, wow, literally walk through a cloud of ice and monster electric mist. Anyway, is this, this whole story is just unique. Oh, don't forget, you gotta say, there's this unique teleporting creatures. This, the whole concept is just so, so, it is really interesting. I can't believe I, I didn't know about this. Game. I heard about it, and now I'm finally able to play it, and I'm glad that I'm enjoying it. Alright, time for me to be quiet. Come back. Yo, Reyes is so funny, her reaction, like her not having any bullets or not having any ice blasts or just like getting grabbed and she's cursing and stuff. This is just the funniest, it's, but it adds to the game though, so it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like this is clear, so now we can go to the next area. This place honestly is pretty huge too. And even just walking through certain zones and then actually being outside, even though you're not really outside, you're still like way underground. It looks like a city that's on the surface, but it's not. It's supposedly all underground. It's just weird, but they did such a good job with the environment on this game. This. This is one of those hidden gem type games, I, I would say. Because I'm really enjoying myself with this game. It's pretty basic. I mean, you got you got your basic weapons. You got your special abilities. You have everything else pretty much polished. Like, the graphics is good. The sound design is good. The characters are okay. I mean, this, this... If you're a survival horror fan... I wouldn't want to miss this one. I would I would take I would take a, a playthrough with this. Alright, what we got? Yeah, this story just keeps getting crazier and crazier. This is wild, man. Look at the grass. Look at this. It literally looks like I'm outside at night, but there's no, there's no sunlight. It's all on the ground or under the. It's like, <laughs> it's just crazy. I can't wait to see what else is next. Okay, y'all. It's time for another blooper. <laughs> so basically. This was my first attempt on this stage. This, this whole land actually is pretty good. 
cool looking but I'm gonna let Reyes get down to business real quick and handle this but yeah on the side is when I first had to do this part and got snuck by that floating duplicating teleporting Yeah, the trick is to stick and move basically, but it's it still can catch you. It can still grab you. So it's I don't know. Oh no, it's a school. My God, I hope. No, I don't even want to think about it. Oh yeah. I'm really really late he said it was on fire now it's just out oh man this isn't good cora i'm in where are you cora are you receiving me cora damn It's crazy because there's some places that looks like it was on fire and then some places where it looks completely untouched. So I wonder, I wonder what it, like, I wonder what started it. What started the fire? Is there anybody? I don't see anybody around. I don't see any bodies. This is, this is bad, bad, bad. I'm actually starting to wonder now if I'm if we're ever going to see any large group of survivors or anything like that. I'm hoping it would be nice to actually rescue a person instead of somebody that's just completely tied up in whatever that stuff was. The, the growth, the electric growth stuff like the other guy. Alright guys, come on, you gotta come up with something original. Just jumping around the corner isn't gonna cut it. And especially since I'm on edge from what I'm scared I might discover on the stage. I just don't know.
see i just keep looking at this stage i'm like this is the stuff that you would see on the surface that would be underground on the surface but it's underground underground how far down does this go this is just this is wild man also there's nothing burned down here maybe they all traveled this way i don't know but I don't see him. Oh, goodness gracious. This way. Oh, hide! Get, get behind me! Oh, oh, please, no! Oh, no, no, run! There's no one here. It's over. Gora, it's over. Please. I'm here. I couldn't do it. I failed. They were survivors and the children. Those monsters. They took them away. Not again. It's happening again. Sorry, Gora. We can still stop this. You said so yourself. Man, I don't even know what to say. Goodness gracious, man. <laughs>